Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the new trace by color feature. And this option is a little bit hidden. And I'm gonna show you where it is in just a second, but before I get started, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so this is easier to see on my cutting mat. So I have an image here from a graphics pack and it is just that, an image. It does not contain any cut lines. So to get an image like this to cut out, I would need to create cut lines. So I'm gonna do so by using the trace by color, like I mentioned before. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the butterfly looking image on the right and it's gonna say open the trace panel. And you can see I have three options here. This is the regular trace we're accustomed to. There's an eyedropper and that is the trace by color and there's a magnet trace, which we're not gonna get into today. For today's video, we're going to be using the trace by color. So once I select that, I'm gonna go down to the first option here and click it, and that's going to be the trace by color. And I'm just going to click on the image where I want to select the color and I want it to trace. Now you can see the image has turned yellow and anything you see in yellow, the edges of the yellow will generate a cut line. So you can see there's still some pink peeking through and really this is minor, but if you want to make that image crisper or cleaner, you can go to this tolerance section here and go up and down in the percentage. So if I go down, you're gonna see that we see more and more pink. And if I go up, you're gonna notice that more and more of that pink disappears or goes away. The tolerance uh, only works so well depending on how close the colors are together. So at a certain point, you'll have to go back and do edit points if you really want to get something clean or something precise. For example, if I cut this image out after I trace it and I notice that this right here is a little dull, I may have to go in and specifically point edit to fix that. But anyways, once you are happy with where your trace has appeared, you can either choose a solid fill or an outline and you can say your areas and these are options you can play with depending on the desired effect but if you're happy with how it looks you're just going to go ahead and click trace and now it looks like nothing happened but if i actually drag this down you'll see i now have cut lines for my glasses so that's it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching.